Greetings boys and girls. So today's video is about a subject that I don't really have strong opinions on either way, but it's something that I'm kind of interested in because I find both sides of this argument have these strengths and weaknesses, and that's the gun control debate in America. Now, I find there's a lot of flawed arguments coming from both sides, really. The gun control people and the people that say we should leave well enough alone. And you know these gun control debates pop up whenever there's a big shooting or a mass shooting happen with some nutcase who shouldn't have gotten a gun going postal with firearms. See, on one hand you have the people that say, no, leave them alone. It's our second right amendments, etc, etc. See, the problem there with these arguments is the arguments are often based around, you know, they say, take guns away. And then you get the people that are anti-gun control saying, well, I need my guns. Well, why is that? To protect myself from people with guns. Okay, so you need guns to protect yourself from people with guns. It doesn't really make much sense. Or you get them saying, okay, it's my Second Amendment rights, therefore it's okay. Well, it's your constitutional rights, sure, but really, what does that mean? And then you've got the people that I sort of lean more towards, and that's the gun control people that say you need to crack down on firearms and firearm usages. And I feel that there's a, there are some flawed arguments here. It's sort of my main problem with gun control. I'll, I'll get onto the flaws later. I will say that they bring up good points. Some shit does need to be done because people are killing each other way too fucking easily. People are getting access to firearms way the fuck too easily. But, you see, here's the thing, people. While I lean more towards the increased gun control argument, I lean completely away from the ban guns completely argument because there is where the flaw lies in the logic of that particular side. With the people saying that you need to ban guns outright, they fail to take into account the fact that this would open up a whole shit ton of other problems when it comes to firearms. You see, banning things really doesn't do shit. Prohibition does not work. America tried it with alcohol in the 30s, lo and behold it just created a new black market for booze and alcohol and slug rugging and bootlegging and what have you. Yeah. Marijuana's been illegal for ages, and no one I know smokes marijuana. Oh, wait. Hang on. It doesn't do shit. It's just taking control away from, you know, above-board people, and gives control to people who are dodgy as fuck, and giving access to people that shouldn't have access to it, and or creating a black market, and or making shit fucking worse. Because people that couldn't get a gun because of psychological issues or whatever, today, could just go up to one of these black market dealers, be all like, yo homie, here's fucking how much you ever want a gun. Here you go, superstar, there's your gun, give me my money, thank you very much. See, it doesn't really affect me. Like, you know, obviously I'm in New Zealand, we don't have these gun control problems, firearms, related massacres are very rare in New Zealand. The last really big mass homicide with a firearm we had was in 1990 down in the South Island in a small community called Aramoana. But I see a lot of these elements popping up with friends of mine and whatever, and I see big flaws in both of them. I don't agree we should ban guns outright. While I don't see a point, I don't see the purpose in banning them outright because that would just make shit worse. I think what America needs to do, and what other countries need to do with lax firearm laws, is tighten that shit up and find some way to control guns, control bullets, control whatever, as opposed to outright banning, which will just open a whole new can of worms. So there's my two cents, disjointed as it is, it tends to happen when you haven't gotten much sleep the last few days. If I don't see you before then, people, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and if there's a fat guy... Down by your chimney emptying a sack, I apologize, I'm trying to stop masturbating to fireplaces. I'm Damien Skyfire, till next time.